Okay, so this is Aaron with the Exalted Lamb 1, and I'm very excited to bring out this video. Um, I'm kind of conflicted, actually, though. Um, I'm excited and horrified at the same time. Um, I have been, this is a culmination of th over three years of trial, of triumph, um, sadness, happiness. When I reflect on this stuff, um, it's very deep. This is very deep, all this stuff. So I want you to know that I'm putting this out for the believers, the body of Christ, my brothers and sisters, and even for the unbelievers, anyone who will listen. And I, I think it's going to be mainly for what I think the Lord has shown me. It's going to be mainly for the people who don't believe until all this happens, which is unfortunate, which is in a way very tragic. However, I think once this stuff happens and then people reflect or able to look at this information afterwards or remember what they were told before, either way, then it will cause a an epiphany and a breakthrough and all that kind of stuff. So I really believe that's what the Lord's been showing me over these last three years is that the information that I've been getting over the years, and it's far more than I'm presenting. It is just, it's uh, it's incredibly more. Um, but I have to do this type of format and this timeline and pull these different things together because this is the best message I can come up with so you get an idea of what's coming and when. Otherwise, it's just, it it's just doesn't serve you like the just the raw information would. So that's the best I could say right now. So um, God, what else do I say right up front here? Um, I'll just leave that at that. So this picture here, um, breadcrumbs, the Lord, he is interesting and challenging and exciting and how he leaves information and he leaves information before me and others. Um, as we inquire, as we search the scriptures, as we search him, look for him, as we, and I'm just going to share my heart, that's it, um, as we go to him and we, you know, we seek and we shall find, the Bible says, and, you know, this stuff doesn't come overnight, <clears throat> this understanding does not come, it, it, it is a process, it's just, it's kind of frustrating how it's such a process, because, and how so many people that I've met over the years have bits and pieces sometimes, but they're missing big pieces as well, and little pieces here and there, and all this stuff. And it's just like, how can someone be so on on one area? And I'm sure you've said this to yourself as well. Everybody said this about other people, I'm sure. How can someone be so right on on certain things and be so off on other things? There's so many factors in that. It, I'm not getting into all that, but part of it is the heart. Part of it is the journey that we're going through. And the, I believe the heart is central. I've been doing stuff with the heart for a long time, um, helping people with addictions and all that kind of stuff. And I've struggled with my own addictions. So, And I've conquered things in my life. And the Lord has changed my life over the years, and He has healed me. Um, and so that's another story. But So this breadcrumb trail, it's kind of crazy because it's got CNN. <laughs> I put CNN as... One of the little breadcrumbs, and it's kind of bizarre. I do not like CNN. They are completely fake news, um, and they've been caught. Just look it up. Look it up how CNN's been caught doing fake news. I mean, literally, where one of the uh, commentators is basically uh, put, you know, in front of a f fake screen, and it, the wrong stuff was shown. How when they had guests, they turn off their mic so they don't know what's going on, so they look bad. I mean, there's just so many things. You can look that up. I mean, it's definitely substantiated like crazy. And that's why people have called them fake news and things, because that's true. So, But even CNN can be used by God. Even a donkey can speak to someone like the Bible says. Um, you know about that reference. So I'm going to go to C CNN and play this clip and there's far, probably far more clips since then this was just a couple days ago but when i saw this it just was shocking to me at what they were setting up for what's coming so i wanted you to see this so let me go to that 
Okay, so I'm going to play this clip that I saw, and it's pretty striking. So I'm going to play it, and then I'm going to talk about it, okay? I may stop it during it. Who knows? Okay, here we go. Next of Hurricane Lane being felt in Hawaii this morning. It is now a Category 3, but officials are warning residents that the storm is a significant rainmaker moving slowly here. And Governor David Ige says some parts of the islands could get more than 30 inches could get waves up to 20 feet high. The outer bands of the hurricane already causing flooding. There's now a voluntary evacuation order on Reeds Island near Hilo. The normally scenic Wailuku River turning into a raging torrent. Everyone's watching the forecast models. We tell them not to get too concerned about that. Some of the biggest threats we see from this storm, obviously we're looking at a tropical storm, maybe some slight hurricane force winds. We're also looking at potentially for a lot of flooding, uh, potentially urban flooding. Emergency sirens blaring in Honolulu yesterday. FEMA says it has pre-staged food, water, generators, and other necessities around the islands. Major airlines are waiving fees for travelers affected by the hurricane, including United Delta Alaska Airlines. CNN's Miguel Marquez live in Pala on the southern part of the Big Island. It's 11 p.m. there. Miguel, what are you seeing? Evacuations in the population. So basically, it's still a very powerful hurricane. The track has uh, slightly shifted here. I'll show you that in a second. But still, 120 mile an hour winds, right? Still a category three storm. And look at the movement. It is walking towards the islands here north at six miles an hour. That is a huge problem here because of the amount of rain that we're talking about. Some areas across the Big Island have already picked up nearly two feet of rainfall. And Miguel, my friend, you're going to get a lot more rain coming in. I think another three to six inches. So that lull you're experiencing now in the Big Island is not going to last. Here's the latest track. Now, I want to see this here first. So as you see, he's showing this path. And this is crazy because if you at all understand how God communicates with this inner witness um, and also through symbols and through um, anything, everything, a lot of different things, especially this stuff that's coming and this craziness that's coming, immediately I saw, and this is, again, I think this the light side of the coin that I've been talking about, and even maybe the dark side as well. You could definitely interpret this in a dark side as well. So my whole thing has been there are parallels there are the there's the dark side and what the enemy's trying to do but then there's what god is trying to do and what he's known about way before the enemy knew what was going on and and what the enemy's trying to fake to look like he's god okay but right here look at this so you have three eight pms i mean why eight pm why not another time so eight 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 which is the number for Jesus. Anybody ever looked at that information in numerology is the number for Jesus before anything else. But it's also the enemy uses that as well. But then we have three one one. And so I saw eight eight eight. I'm like, wow, Jesus, okay, that's what I know. Because I know I know numerology. I've studied numbers and things, uh, biblical numbers and all that for a long time, many years ago, and for many years. And then three eleven is you know, Revela immediately came to me, 311, Revelation 311, Jesus says, I come quickly. And immediately I thought, okay, Jesus, that's Jesus, 888, and he's and Revelation 311, he's coming quickly. And so that was my inner witness and what I saw in these symbols and things right in front of me. And listen, if you've ever looked at people like Many Fish or Jonathan Cleck or different people like that who God shows them imagery through what demons are doing, through media, you know, movies. I mean, it is known. It is understood. If you don't know that, you really need to look at those details because, of course, if the if Satan, even if you don't believe in God, I mean, if the idea of Satan and what he would do would be to act through music, movies, uh, popular culture, and all that kind of stuff, that would make sense, okay? That's what an enemy that you can't see that's behind all these things would do. Okay, so let me play this. There is a bit of a shift here, right? So it moves because it's still moving to the north. It is going to continue getting very, very close. Now, by the time we get into Friday, 8 p.m. local, the hurricane force winds will begin to approach some of the islands. In fact, we could gust over 75 miles an hour easy, and then it makes that track over to the west. Sorry, guys, I just had to pause there. Can you see how they've got all the timings at 8 p.m.? 8 p.m., 8 p.m., 8 p.m. 
the LTN interpretation, London, Hawaii, Honolulu, Tokyo, Japan. Right now, Tokyo, Japan is uh, having their own typhoon, while Hawaii, Honolulu, I actually heard they're particularly worried about Honolulu. Um, but also you've got obviously the Big Island and the Kilauea volcano, where you've got loads of flooding currently taking place, and that's going to continue, looks like, over the next three to four days. And look, they've got the tracking up to Sunday, 8 p.m. And then obviously, Monday is the 27th, big watch day. I'm going to play the rest of this. All the while dumping incredible amounts of rain, and because of the topography in Hawaii, we're going to be looking at uh, some very heavy rainfall. Here are the latest uh, watches and warnings. No big changes. Tropical storm warning for the Big Island, the Middle Islands, looking, including uh, uh, Oahu and Honolulu at a hurricane warning, and then a watch for Kauai, which uh, is going to continue to see the effects much later down the pike here. But there's the rainfall. We have one blob. There's the center of the storm. There's the eye right there. But look at all the rainfall that has already fallen across the islands. And again, as a result of the mountainous uh, terrain, we're going to continue to see very heavy rain. Look at the winds. This is still not a factor yet. 20, 40 mile an hour wind gusts. I think tonight the wind begins to play a factor. The rain will continue to be an issue. And we're talking about torrential amounts of rain, the likes of which could put down, of course, mudslides, landslides. You saw okay, so it's saying mudslides and landslides. And then look at this. It's pointing to the section down here where I've been talking about Halina Slump and how it could fall into the ocean, okay, because of Kilauea, because of the fissures there, and this whole thing. There's, I'm going to get into a bunch of this, but they're already sowing the seed of landslides. you got to get this. They're already sowing the seeds of landslides, so they have to do this. They have to put this cover story of all this rain so they can do this, whatever they're going to do in their false flag of the second 9-11. This is the second 9-11. Okay, the, the first 9-11, we know what it was. The Twin Towers falling and, you know, hitting the Pentagon and all that. The second 9-11 is going to be a, a series of events starting with this event, I believe. Okay, and I'm going to show that to you here coming up. So they're already setting the stage. These arrows pointing to this, they're saying, and I haven't watched the broadcast since then. This is a few days ago, or a couple days ago. Um, so I have not watched the broadcast since, okay? But I want to show you something else here. On the torrents of rivers there, and look at so far, upwards of 22 plus. Okay, now it's showing. If you look at the top up here, and you probably can't see it. This is not the best quality here because this is a couple, a couple times used. Um, but it says 1109. And as you know, if you know anything about um, imagery and all that stuff in predictive programming, you should look up predictive programming. Um, lately, I've been asking the Lord about predictive programming. And I think he's told me that what the enemy is doing with predictive pro programming, it's like, I would call it, he, he actually called it unpraying. So you know how you pray for something and then it can happen or it can influence what can happen? Well, predictive programming is like their version of praying, or I would call it unpraying, praying for evil to happen. So, for example, if you see an event on a movie that is intended to be real, and then you see it, and you don't have a problem with it, and you kind of go along with it in watching it, and you don't go, oh, hey, wait a minute, that's bad, then you're kind of unpraying, or you're kind of praying evilly towards it. And it's a weird like subconscious thing that the enemy knows but i think i've gotten some information on that from the lord about what that is and so they put things all over our media and when we watch it we don't go oh wait a minute that's messed up and we don't but when we watch it and we kind of like don't have we just kind of go with it then it's kind of like a subconscious praying for it to happen it's kind of weird I, I won't go into more explanation on that, but that's what I've been getting. So right here, this says 9-11, and this shows several times. When he's showing these different things, this 9-11 pops up. Again, this is the second 9-11. He's pointing to the place is going to be the second 9-11, and they happen to show 9-11 like four times. Inches of rain and still more to come, guys. It's just, it's crazy. So... Um, this whole clip, if you would look, go back a little bit, you'll see it go to 9-11 several times. Um, 
it is it's just it's crazy okay so i wanted to show you that okay so i'm going to go back to ipad goat here now i'm going to put again i'm going to put uh the video of ipad goat 2 in the description box here and and anybody any of you that have not watched this yet um, I recommend watching it, maybe even before I continue, uh, definitely before I continue. So pause this video right now, go back and watch this, click on the link, and then come back to where you left off here. I would recommend it, otherwise you're not going to get as much out of this as you could, okay? So I, I want to make that clear at first here. Or if you know it about it already, then just keep going, okay? So again when i share this into my other videos so i'm going to kind of recap a little bit <clears throat> this is the opening sequence in ipad goat the first few seconds and the goat's eye starts to spin both start to spin like a hurricane and then his head starts spinning okay like a big hurricane which i think symbolizes ultimately about the same size roughly the size of it going over the mountain kilauea and i showed my other video this thing right here looking like one of the Hawaiian islands. Okay, this is crazy, okay? And then this one coming in in the sixth um, month, okay? In fact, it came, it was a it was really known that it was coming in about six, the sixth month, okay, is the lunar calendar, okay? The sixth month of the lunar calendar, and I'll get into that, what that is. I've shown that in previous videos, but if you're kind of new to this, the sixth month of the Chinese lunar calendar, to be more specific, okay? And this box here represents, that the goat is in, represents the sixth month, representing right here six moons right here. This is a timeline. Okay, so iPad Goat is several timelines put together. And it's it's a lot of symbolism. It's multi-layered. And let me tell you here up front, too, um, I recommend looking at Julian T, J-U-L-I-A-N space T, his, his YouTube channel, and JK Bugout. Um, if you know the people who already heard this, you know this. Um, uh, but you look at their website or look at their YouTube channels and you'll see all the work they've done with iPad Goat, and they are the forerunners to this stuff that I'm sharing. And this is my own take right here, pretty much. This stuff right here with the goat. And I think I've unlocked with the and the Lord's done it, and with their help, of course, and understanding all this uh, in a, in the beginning, what all this stuff is what this means okay so this is showing the actual event so what it will show eventually as these blocks fall down it'll show this two okay so this is 9 11 number two the second 9 11. And the reason why it's called ipad goat is when george bush was in the classroom with the kids they were reading a book called the pet goat okay and then one of his before they started reading one of his advisors or somebody came over um, and whispered in his ear, and that's when supposedly he was told that 9-11 had happened. And then he just kept sitting there looking weird, looking stupid, I think, and uh, sitting there while they're reading this thing and nothing was doing nothing. So I don't know why they did all that. But anyway, so that's the kind of the background to this. So what I want to show here is a timeline. So this first one that happened right here, this first one, Okay, it, it, it kind of sort of touched the island, but it didn't. It literally touched the island. It did. Um, and I said it would. I didn't know how much destruction it would cause, cause it, but it didn't do anything really. But it did kind of touch the island. And I show that in my videos. Okay, but that's linked to this first thing here, which is it's basically an H because it doesn't go along with these other colors here. Um, these other colors are consonants. This is not a consonant because it and it's also it's uh, red and it's also yellow so it means it's something else so it's an h and h is the eighth letter of the alphabet so that means to, with two colors eight eight and that's what this was it, it's basically hit or missed kind of sort of touched on eight eight the second one which is represented this second box right here if you and I, it's better on my other video you can look at it but there's a, another box right here that's on the side of the box which is the seventh um, lunar calendar month, the Chinese lunar calendar month. And this is right over it, and it's right over th uh, the, mount or the mountain or the, uh, the islands, okay? It basically hit the island, okay? It hit the big island is the main thing. And I'm going to show you how the big island is the main, uh, you know, the, it's the catalyst for all this. And then G right here is the seventh letter of the alphabet and this happened on the seventh month 
okay? Um, and it's happening, it's kind of still happening, really, okay? And then, but what I'm going to point you to is the seventh month, okay? That's showing the seventh month, and then I believe it's 717, okay? And 717, which I'm going to show you here in a little bit, 717 is August 27th, okay? And I think that's what's coming up here. It's going to be the big 9-11 event, the first one of many other, some other events. And I'm not going to get into the other events right now. But so we have, when I was looking at this, I've looked at this so many times, but when I was looking at this, um, after, you know, a certain amount of months or whatever, I noticed this was an upside down seven, this T here. And if you turn it upside down, it's an upside down seven. It's got the little thing here and it's got that little crossbar right here. It's a seven. And so one of the ways you can look at this, and it's this is a little bit more far-fetched, but you never know. These are multi-layered. These are subtle. This is all symbolism here. Okay, so we have a 7, and then we have a 7 here, and then the A is 1. So we have, and the O could represent 0, so that's nothing. So we have 7, upside down 7, 1, 7. So that's 7, 1, 7. Okay, and I'm going to show how other things are possibly 7, 1, 7. Also... In these ones that are darkened, these supposed constants, with this, this is kind of both. It's seven, seven, or I'm sorry, seven, seven, because these are definitely sevens upside down. Seven, seven, and then I can always be a one. Um, any representation, a lot of I represent eyes, you know, they're mistaken as just one line, and it could be a one. So it's seven, seven, one, or seven, seventeen again. Okay, again, this could be, you know, the biggest proof to me is this mountain right here, which represents this is a symbol for Hawaiian Islands or even a volcano right here. Okay, this is the seventh month. So sometime in the seventh month is minimum what this saying, and I, I say for sure. And then it's right over it. Okay, and then you have 717 here. You have 717 a few times, I think. Okay, but, you know, maybe that's really open to interpretation, I'm sure. Okay. Um, but that's what it's showing. So let's see how many other times we're seeing 717. So, but that's what I think this is showing. Two hurricanes over the big island. Um, and there's other things too. For example, this shape here is an M, which is the 13th letter of the alpha, which is August 23rd. And August 23rd was when it really impacted the island for the pretty much 22nd, 23rd is when I was saying it was going to impact the island, and it did. Um, so that's another thing. The twenty, the the M is the thirteenth month of the, a thirteenth day of the seventh month, which is um, August twenty third, which is crazy. Again, this is all to symbolism, and these are different symbols to represent what they're trying to say. Okay, so this is what I'm going to show you here. So this is the Gregorian slash lunar calendar conversion table from the Gregorian to the lunar calendar, the Chinese lunar calendar of twenty eighteen. The Wu Shu Year of the Dog. And let me go back to actually one more time here. There's a dog down here. And that's the Year of the Dog. The Chinese Year of the Dog. Also up here is a barcode. And it says 666. 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18. So we have the Year of the Dog, which is 2018. And then we have 18 represent 2018. So we have months, days, years. All on this thing right here. Showing the next 9-11. Okay, so... What I originally said was the sixth lunar month right here, and then the 23rd day of the lunar month. Um, uh, no, actually, I'm sorry. I was actually talking about the sixth uh, lunar month and the, tw uh, let's see here. Yeah, originally it came sixth lunar month and the 23rd day. That was Hector, okay? And that was, it was showing up on August 4th, okay? And that's right here, right there. Okay, August 4th, it was basically, we knew it was heading there on that, pretty much that day. And it was like, and that's when I was like, whoa, the, really, the, the the lineup of all this stuff. And then we had, um, well, let me fast forward here. So let's go to August. We got the seventh month right here. And we've got the 17th day of the seventh month with this right here. 27th, you go over here. It's August. So August 27th. I think it could be a really big day. Okay, and I'm going to talk more about why that is. So this is kind of how this works. 
And again, it's the Wushu Year of the Dog. There's a lot to this. I'm going to get into it right now. Okay, so here's another scene in I Pet Goat. And it shows um, this apple rolling across the floor and it hits Obama's foot. Obama is a character in, in this movie. Um, and I believe because he's the Antichrist. And that's very clear in this movie. And, this, and I'm going to show you a bunch of things about that. Okay, so here's this apple. And it hits his foot and it rolls back. And it's splitting right here. Okay, it's about to split. I'm just pause it right there. Okay, and then uh, basically what I'm going to show you is this. So let's go to the next one here. Okay, so this is splitting, and I want to show people who haven't seen this before. This is this was shown originally by Julian T. That this is, a, but he did not see this part until I kind of pointed it out. Um, he said, "Hey, this is this is uh, a volcano." Okay. This is lava coming out of it, okay? This is an eruption, so it's a volcano, basically, okay? And then I showed how, later, on how this splits right here. And that's a chunk right here. That's a chunk of the island right there. That's just a chunk. And that supports this idea of the Helena slump and the East Rift Zone of the Big Island falling off. And all the research I've done showing that that's what, they try, that's what they're trying to do in Puna Geothermal Venture which is that geothermal plant that's right by Kilauea, which they've been fracking, and I put videos together about that. Okay, but this is how, this is associated. So when this split happens, it just so happens to show over here, look at this. Seven is backwards. They do things upside down and backwards, seven. And then this is also one. And then we have seven right here. Seven, one, seven. Okay, so seven, one, seven is August 27th. Okay, it's, it's just what it is. Okay, so you can see that there. That's, I mean, why not put lines here and here and here and make a leaf? You're making different lines for different reasons. So this is 7, 1, 7 right there. Okay, that's my interpretation. Okay, and it may not be completely correct. So you, you decide. Okay, I, listen, I am doing the best I know here. These people who made this... Are moved. This was made in 2012, by the way, predicting things right now. And months ago, last last year, 2017, proven. And I'll, I, I'm not even going to get into all the list of stuff. And we're talking about Hurricane Jose. We're talking about Hurricane Harvey. We're talking about, you know, Trump getting out of the Iran peace, uh, Iran nuclear deal on the exact day of May 8th at 2 p.m. was shown in iPad Go ahead of time. Um, things like that. Trump sitting down with his hands in a triangle shape and his hair parted on one side is is in iPad Goat in the 12 figures behind this girl, Lily, which I'm not going to show right now. There's so many things. This thing is, is valid. It's demons moving in people to show events that, are going, that they say are going to happen because they have people in their pocket. They have technology that people don't know about to, to cause all this stuff to happen. Okay. So let me go to the next thing. All right, so this is another thing. I'm I'm praying to God the other day, and I'm just like, and I'm saying, Lord, you got to show me stuff. You know, this is hitting. When is this going to happen? You know, I, I know that this is showing this. When is this going to happen? And he's been showing me, like, again, that breadcrumb trail. He's been showing me little by little just because, listen, there's a, a lot of reasons why the Lord does not want us to know the exact day apparently yet or maybe we can get so close to it he says watch there'll be signs of the sun moon and stars he says watch for that day so that that day does not overtake you like a thief like it would for the unbeliever who are in the dark who are the children of the night okay but people are we're children of the day and we can watch and that day would not overtake us there's so much scripture on that i'm not going to get into it right now okay but what he was showing me was yes this is correct this is lunar calendar Again, these are multi-layered. It's crazy. It's lunar calendar, but then upside down, you have Obama's foot right here, and he's looking at it from this direction, and that's the seventh month, and then on his foot is one, oop, one, seven. Black seven over here, black 17 over here. 717. Okay, so maybe that's kind of weird, you know, coincidental, whatever. And, you know, this again, we're interpreting, interpreting this stuff. This is proven to be a timeline. Events have happened. These things are in this. 
Okay, so it's a lot of symbolism and it's up for people to interpret. Okay, so you decide if I'm interpreting this right. Again, we have that 717 right here. Okay, here's another one that the Lord showed me. I'm like, what the heck? So here's Luna Calendar. And in this LC right here is 717. I'm like, what? 717. It's part of the LC here. <clears throat> Lunar calendar 717. 717. 717. I mean, it's all over the place. Why aren't there any other things like the other? I mean, you might be able to find a couple other possible dates in here, but that's pretty. But it's hidden. It's well hidden. And that's what they want. They don't want anybody to know. You have to search this like crazy. That's part of their religion. Okay, so I want to show this too. So. Originally, this Julian T pointed this out as well. I want to sh give props to him, but this is kind of an eight right here with the shadow, okay, and then two and one seed. So eight twenty one is on the Gregorian. So they're showing lunar lunar calendar, Chinese lunar calendar and stuff over here. That again, this is multi layered, and this they're also showing eight twenty one, which is not seven one seven, but it also represents Hawaii. This is Hawaii. Remember, it was splitting. And, you know, Kilo, uh, the Helena slump and all that stuff. This is representing Hawaii. And how? Because Hawaii started as a state on 8-21-1959. Again, this is so crazy. These are demons who are smarter than people putting this together with multiple layers. There's layer after layer after layer of stuff in here. Okay, so that's 8 21 which links this to Cal which links this to Hawaii. Okay, so that's very important. And here we have, as this is opened, like I said, and showing the seeds and everything, here's another 717. 7, and this is a 1, again, and then this is a 7, again. And they're using the same, using some of the same things here, but there's another one. I mean, th that doesn't show 9, it doesn't show 6, it doesn't show, there's no shapes for 6, there's no shapes for a lot of things. And again, where's the other leaf forms and all that? There's just so many things. So we have 717 going all over the place here. Okay, now I want to show you this as well. This is when the apple, before it's split, it's rolling this direction, and it hits Obama's foot. And then as it hits his foot, you see the shadow. It's a little shadow, and then it rolls back, and then you see that. But it's a little line, and then that's even more makes this a 7 and a 1. Okay? I mean, there you go. It's I think it's... It it took a while for this to kind of come to my mind because I was praying on this and the, my eyes started being enlightened on what was going on here. Okay, now we have Bush. Okay, this is another scene. This is another timeline. I have not decoded this completely, there, but there's a number of things I've seen here and it's crazy. So before he does this dance, actually, you know what? Right after he does this dance, he's talking, you know, fool me once and whatever he says. Um, but while he's doing this dance, he does 10, 5, and 5. Then he does 10. Puts his hands up again, 10. So 10 and 10 is 20. And then he does this. He does 3 and 4. So 10, 10 is 20. And then 3 and 4 is 27. And then when he sits down and he's saying this stuff, Julian T. found this as well. If you play him his what he says backwards, it says August... August, and I play that in my videos as well, and you can look at my previous videos about that, or go to Julian T, and he'll, he'll he shows that as well. But I show it actually in my video, playing it backwards, the sound, and so he says it backwards, August, and then he shows twenty seven. Also, this is crazy. Again, these are multi layered. You have this star, you know, sh shining here for some reason. It's pointing to different things. It's pointing to this dragon that's right here. This is crazy. In Revelation 1, 2, so that's 12. Revelation 12, 4, the dragon comes to devour the child. I mean, again, this is so multilayered, and I'm not getting into all this stuff in here. It is pretty crazy, all the stuff that's in here, but I want to make this point. So 717, what I was showing over here, 717s, right? Okay, is also... 8, 10, 10, 7, in that example, 
is 827. He said August, and then he said backwards, and he said showing 27. So 20, 827 is 717 on the calendar, on the lunar calendar, or and the Gregorian is August 27th. I want to show this next. So I want to recap what I said before on my other videos. Jesus said in Luke 8 or 10 18, I beheld Satan as lightning as lightning fall from heaven or lightning falling from heaven. Okay, so the word lightning is barak. Okay, and from is the kind of says as ooh. Okay, this is all in Hebrew. So Jesus is saying this in Aramaic Hebrew way back 2,000 years ago. And then he says from heaven or a high place, which is bama. Put those together, barak ooh bama. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What? Does look at this, people. I mean, I'm going to say this again. So what I'm saying is, I'm linking right now Obama, which his made up name, by the way. The, these people who made up his name, who are behind all this, they knew this. Um, he his name was Barry Satoro and other names. His name became Barack Obama, knowing that it was what Satan Jesus called Satan. That's way before. You know, bomb was even a thought, I'm sure. So, not I'm sure, but so that's crazy. So I'm going to link him to lightning falling from heaven. Now check this out. There's so much more to this. It's crazy. So here's Barack Obama in this iPad Goat, another scene, which is another timeline. This is actually one of 12 window panes down here in the snow, which J.K. Bug out found. It says, woo, we're in the woo shoe year. There's so much. It, it's just, it's mind-blowing. But I want to show you this, something I've uncovered. So Obama is associated with 623. And the Lord showed me that 923 is 623, and that's another story. Um, but 623 is associated with Obama because 623 in the lunar calendar is the sixth month, the 23rd day, which also is another day in the Gregorian calendar, which is August 4th. But let me show you this first. And why they're looking forward to 623. So here's Obama, and here's lightning falling from heaven. Hmm. Okay, and then there's six window panes here. So if you, it's kind of like a, you know, crossword puzzle or something. He's down here, so he's associated first with these full six. So it's left to right. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you got six. Okay, that's six. And then he's associated right here in a row with this one next, because it goes left to right. The next one is right here. One, two, two. And then he's associated with this bottom row next because you go left to right. And the next one is this bottom row, which is one, two, three, six, twenty-three. It's saying Barack Obama, which is lightning falling, which is the Satan or the, the Antichrist, is six twenty-three. Okay, here's a clue. Barack Obama is six twenty-three. And let me show you why why that is, many ways. Okay, so here it hidden, and no, I don't think anybody's found this, not Bug Out or Julian or anybody that I know of. There is a hidden six right here. Okay, there's a, it's a little thing right here, and it comes right here. It's 623. This also, if you go like this, it says Donald, which is Donald Trump. And then it has to do with May, May 8th, which is when he got out of the uh, Iran peace deal. And there's a clock up here, and it rings twice, which is 2 p.m., and he... Basically announced that at 2 p.m. On, on May 8th, which is absolutely crazy. This shows you that Donald Trump is not who he claims to be. There's many other things. Okay, so for you jo Donald Trump haters, you should be feel vindicated here. Um, but the people who think he's some kind of savior and saint and whatever, or he's God Cyrus. I mean, God can still work in that and do what he's doing, but he will betray. He will. The, this has been predicted. In 2012, okay, iPad Go was made. But the guy who made it, the director, had this took six years to make. So that means he at least knew about this in 26, 2006. And so this is basically known by him in 2006. And it's predicting stuff about 2018. And right now and in the future. Okay, so let me go to this. So you have 623, 623 right here, which again is Obama and is also a date, 623. And then out of the 623, you have lightning falling. Okay. Also, check this out. It's seven, one, and this is an upside down seven. So the lightning bolt is. Look, this is crazy. The Lord showed me this. I'm like, what? 
seven, one, seven. It's an upside down seven, it's a one, and it's a right side up seven. That is a lightning bolt. If that's not a lightning bolt and representing a lightning bolt, I don't know what is. This is not so much, right? I mean, what is that? I mean, some people might think if you go like this and you put a thickness to it or whatever, but this is definitely a lightning bolt right here. And then now go like that, go like that. That's 717. Are you kidding me? Are you seeing this? Look at this. Open your eyes. It's coming on 717. I'm telling you. Look at this. Now look at this. Barack Hussein Obama just so happens to be in Jewish Gematria 623. Adding up. Also, I'm going to add this little tidbit. If you add these right here, there's 18 digits in his name. 18 digits. Divided by how many names? Three equals six. And so you have six, six, six. And the Bible says, you know, if you know the number of his name and all that kind of stuff, it talks about if you know if you have wisdom of the number of his name. Basic, basic, basic geometria that you could possibly get in English is 666. Obama's name is 666. Literally, there's five in this, there's seven in this, and there's five in this. You average them, it's 666. He's also 623, and I'm showing you why it is. It's a date. It's a, there's meaning to this. It's also, look at this. And he's even made it very clear. Now look, 623, again, is what? We're going to go to the sixth month, and then it kind of goes this way, and it goes over here to the 23rd day of the sixth month, which is, guess what? August 4th. Right there, see, August 4th, because this is the Gregorian, this is the lunar down here. So, August 4th is 623. Now, what, what, what happened on August 4th? Oh, it's the anniversary of Obama's fake birthday. August 4th. Really? Okay, again, this guy, everything about him is made up. And he just happens to be from Hawaii. I mean, are you kidding? Hawaii. This is all, this is not coincidental, okay? And then August 4th, you know, there's 365 days in a year. It's the 216th day of the year, August 4th is. 6 times 6 times 6 equals 216. There again, he's 666 again. And I've shown in my other videos many other things, how he's the Mahdi in um, Islam, uh, in their eschatology, I mean, I could break out so much more stuff. It's, I have so much more stuff. I have over a hundred reasons why Obama is the Antichrist. And there's nobody even close to being second. Not even close. Not even close. Okay, here's another thing. This is pointing to Obama and 623, which is Obama, which is his name and everything. Okay, look. Anybody who knows anything about this, the eye in the triangle is the Antichrist. Okay, he's the one who oversees the whole pyramid, right? And everybody's below him. You know, he's the... All that eye in the triangle stuff. And this guy, this schmuck here, Harrison Ford, is basically showing this, okay? Other, there's been so many entertainers and stuff all over music, media, everything, movies, that believe in all this stuff. And that's how they got their power and they got their position and they got their movies and all that stuff and all their music. Okay, so if, in case you didn't know. But look, we got six, 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 because there's three fingers making six, six, six. That's their sign. Plus, in here, which I have found, I don't know anybody has found this. Lord told me one day, he said, that is 623. I'm like, what? And he told me, it's 6, 2, this finger, that finger, okay, this finger, that finger. So it's 6, 2, and then three fingers up here. It's 623. So that's a date when they're looking forward to, they're saying, oh, we know something. You know, no, no, that's why we're winking with this eye. And we're looking in this eye. This is a wink. Okay. We know something you don't know. We know. And there's different amounts of knowledge of these people. There, There's hierarchies and stuff. Like, who knows how much Harrison Ford knows? I don't know. Maybe he knows the whole thing. And that's why he's been around for so long. Or maybe he is kind of one foot in, one foot out. Who, you know, I don't know. There's, I, I, I believe there's different degrees of how far people are into this occult stuff. And Luciferianism and all that. I don't know. But he's definitely a puppet doing this stuff. Are you kidding me?
Okay, so here we go. That's another 623. Okay, I want to show you this. This is kind of vulgar and everything, this this thing. But this is, if you split this in half, this is a woman face down on this side over here. And this is a man face up with this thing in the middle there. I'm not going to... Okay, there's other things going on here. But I want to show you this because here is a hurricane. And this is the god, this is the uh, sun god basically blessing or basically blessing this phallic symbol right here with light from a hurricane, okay, and causing the birth of the Antichrist. So this is all part of this eschatology of the Antichrist and everything, but I want to show you that really quick. It's a hurricane. It's, this is very involved, and I'm going to get into all this because it's just too much to get involved with, and with mythology and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to keep moving on. This is an iPad goat. Okay, so the reason why I show that is because that's showing a birth from a hurricane, and then this and at the same time, the apple splits right here, and then these two seeds grow together, and they make this lily. It's a water lily. Okay, it's a water lily. It comes out of this destruction, the splitting member of this of the Hawaiian volcano and all that stuff we just, I just showed you. Okay, why is this important? Because right here, let's go to the next thing. <clears throat> um, so this is the splitting. So this is also representing a female area right here, female area right here. Which is just, you know, just use your imagination a little bit. I'm not going to spell it out for you. Female area, reproduction, all that kind of stuff. Okay. So we're talking about, we saw their phallic symbol. We saw the female area. It's all about reproduction and the birth of some, uh, the Antichrist. Okay. And here we go. And then here's later an iPad goat. You've got the Antichrist right here. It looks kind of like Jesus. He's a kind of a modern looking, you know, cool looking Jesus kind of whatever. I don't think so, but... Okay, and he's coming out of a female area. Oh. Coming out of a female area right here. See that? And all that stuff. You Again, use your imagination there. Um, and water is going... Psh. And then, of course, you got water coming out here. You know, tsunami, you know, flood, all that kind of stuff. And then here's the next scene, kind of. He's going on a boat, and he's, he's on fire and everything. And then here are those water lilies from the destruction. And the, here's the tsunami coming. He's coming. He's being birthed. I mean, it's really quite sick. At the same time, it's quite ingenious the way they're doing this to try and cover up what God's doing. And they're going to be a certain amount successful with a lot of people on this earth. And even, I believe, a lot of Christians are going to be deceived. Um, and the other you know, faithful ones that are going to leave, they're not going to be. That's what, my, what I see. Okay, and then here he is. He was asleep in this whole time, and all of a sudden he's waking up. He's like, huh. So the birth, he's still asleep in a sense. He's going on this boat, he's traveling, and then here he is, he's waking up. So I believe the birth is not the actual revealing of him, but it is a birth, and it is an event, it is catastrophic, and then at some point soon down the road, it will show him he's revealed. He is the eye in the triangle. Gosh, I was going to do that. Okay, he's the eye in the triangle, and he is fully there. And Satan is in him. He's got the fire of Satan in his eyes and stuff, right? And then here it shows the uh, symbol of a church crumbling. So Christianity is going to crumble, you know, because it's their new religion and everybody's going to morph into one religion and all that. That's their belief system, okay? So here he is. He is 717. It's on 717, right? The seventh month, the 17th day, which is August 27th. Okay, that's, and what is 717? I mean, there's a few things. The Lord showed me um, in, in past years what 717. In fact, I, there was time when I saw 717 all the time. I've seen uh, different numbers at different times, and there were messages, and eventually the Lord showed me what those meant. He actually showed them stuff for me for like months sometimes. And that's another story. That is incredible. I could literally put together a presentation about the craziness, and I've taken pictures and everything. It's just crazy. Of all these numbers, 717, I would see it all the time, every day, several times, several times a day sometimes, all over the place. Anyway, what is 717? Oh, hey, it's the number of God. Imagine that. He's also known as 777 because this looks kind of like a 7 right here. But it looks more like a 1, and so 717. And so guess what? The Antichrist is looked at in their eyes as God. This is God's, this is uh, Jehovah's name, I mean, uh, Yahweh's name, 
Yahweh, whatever you want to call it. All these people have their different versions of his name, but whatever. In Hebrew, this is the, this is God. This is who created everything. Um, you know, Yahweh. Okay, he created everything. But this is them basically saying, "Hey, we're going to birth God on seven one seven. God, the God of this world. He's also known as eight 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 in their minds and all that kind of stuff. So that's why you know Hector hit, uh, you know Hawaii at eight. It was Hector, Hector, Hawaii, HH, 88, eight, hit Fisher 6, uh, sorry, Fisher 8 on 818, 8818, sorry, I'm just pushing that. So 8888 eight, eight, all over the place, okay? And that was kind of the announcing of him. It wasn't the actual event. They're into announcing, but God does that as well. He announces before it happens several times in different ways. That's what makes him God and everything. So they're trying to do their own version of that. Here's another thing, um, and I found out what 717 also means. It's in the these different lexicons and things. The 717 means in uh, in uh, Hebrew, uh, this primitive root, ara. Um, it also means in, in, uh, in um, I'm sorry, it is in Hebrew, sorry. And gather or to pluck. To gather or to pluck, which is a, a way of God saying, Hey, I'm going to take you up and take you out and gather and pluck you out when this bad stuff happens on 717. And I'm going to talk about that. I think 717 is a destruction event. It's also when some people get taken out of this destruction event. Okay. So here's Kilauea. Sorry. This is a represent kind of a representative of Kilauea, Krakatoa. Now, I talked about it in my one of my last videos, Krakatoa. I mean, 1883, and I was like, there's got to be, and I, I just kind of showed a little bit of this information, because Julian T. was talking about it, and then um, he wasn't talking about this stuff, and then I felt the Lord pulling me to this. It was so crazy, and I looked at more stuff than anybody said, and I found, and I thought, oh my goodness, this is 9-11. Eight, 1 and 8 is 9, 8 and 3 is 11, and as I started looking at this more, and it's, this thing, this lithograph was made circa 1888, 888 again and all this stuff and so let me read to you okay someone sent me something here um, it was a subscriber and she has done a lot of research and the timing couldn't have been better I mean here I Julie T kind of talk about this I'm studying this and then I get this email and these details and the studies from this person the subscriber she is was amazing she brought a bunch of stuff to to add to my understanding Plus, it confirmed a bunch of things. So I want to talk about this a little bit. Okay, so the, the Krakatoa eruption at the time reflected the father type, Krakatoa, which is the name of the god Krakatoa, erupting and subsequently diminishing in size, and afterward the sun, Anak Krakatoa, rising, kind of like an apple falling in Ipet Goat it's in its vicinity. Also, like Pele, Pele the Hawaiian volcanic goddess, ties Krakatoa to Hawaii spiritually and uh, geologically, okay, geologically, also kind of gynecologically, it's kind of weird, okay, so I'm going to show you this here, um, before I do that, let me just read this first, and I'm going to go back to this email that, okay, so about Krakatoa, on May 20th, 1883, the captain and the crew of the German ship Elizabeth reported seeing a six-and-a-half-mile-high cloud of ash and dust rising above the inhabited island of the Sandra Strait of Indonesia. After two centuries of comparative silence, Krakatoa had begun to stir. Exactly 100 days later, 106 p.m. on August 26, 1883, which is coming up, people, tomorrow, from when I'm doing this video. And, by the way, August 26, then was tomorrow Sunday as well. And this is, I believe this is the model for what they're going to do. Okay, while we have a rain event going on here, we have 40 plus inches of rain, maybe 50 by now. Um, and they're about to have, like I showed you, they were sh pointing right, seeing it was pointing right to the southern part of uh, the Big Island. Okay, the mountain entered in cataclysmic stage, beginning with an immense series of nearly continuous explosions, propelling heavy ash 17 miles, hurling searing pumice into the ship decks 11 miles away. So this is a ship captain, German ship captain, reporting this in 1883, May 20th. It's quite an interesting reporting there in a piece of history. Um, and it started on August 26th. So what I think this is the 
um, this is the model that the these Luciferians, the, probably the captains of industry um, like the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds and all these other ones who were around in the 1883, they, they saw this and they knew this happened and they used this as an example of what's coming, I believe. I believe that's what the Lord's showing, but I believe that what some of these facts are showing. The violent eruptions raged for more than 14 hours until on August 27th, Again, that was a Monday, which is this, August 27th, is a Monday, which is super crazy. Four massive explosions completed the event, with the final blast becoming the loudest recorded noise ever known, shattering eardrums and being heard 2,000 miles away. The cataclysmic paradox, paro, uh, paroxysm occurred when all three of volcanic eruptions events erupted simultaneously. The combined force of these blew Krakatoa apart, reducing the size of the island to two-thirds before collapsing in a depth of 250 feet below sea level. This final explosions would produce an at atmospheric disturbance worldwide. I'm going to go to my last video where I read on Wikipedia, the 1883 eruption was one of the deadliest and most destructive volcanic events in recorded history. I'm reading this kind of fast because I want to get through it. At least 36,000 people, so 36,417 deaths are attributed to the eruption and the tsunamis it created. Tsunami is what I'm talking about coming. And the eruptions will prop, there's a good chance that eruptions will happen tomorrow, the 20, August 26, and possibly 27. If this is their model, is what I'm saying, possibly this is their model, that there, this tsunami could happen on the 27th in two days from now. And here's another excerpt. A horrifying spectacle presented itself to our eyes. The coast of Java and those of Sumatra were, were entirely destroyed. Everywhere the same gray and gloomy color prevailed. The villages and trees had disappeared. We could not even see any ruins, for the waves had d demolished and sh swallowed up the inhabitants, their homes and their plantations. This was truly a scene of the last judgment. And this is this guy, Sandic, uh, eruption on Krakata. It's a, what, how they said at the time. Anak, the sun also rises. See, this is the their this is crazy eschatology of this, these gods that they're kind of putting into this Hawaiian thing. Following the 1883 collapse of the three peaks of Krakatoa, the remaining one third of the island bore no visible evidence of the horror recently unleashed. In December of 1927, 44 years after the catastrophic explosions that rocked the world, uh, Steaming and debris catapulted through the waters above the collapsed caldera with activity continuing and for the first time since 1883 eruption, a basaltic rim appeared above sea level. Basaltic. The three former mountains had become one as if to fuse multiple chambers into a single and possibly more deadly mass. Described by many sources as a phoenix rising out of the ashes, which is a, this is a big Illuminati thing. They believe the phoenix rising out, of, rising out of the ashes, or the order out of chaos. If anybody knows anything about that stuff, look it up. This cone, growing at a rate of 16 feet per year, was a, a, um, anonymously christened, unanimously, sorry, um, Anak, the child of Krakatoa, the prodigal son, had returned. So they're tying this into this, some weird eschatology. Okay, The Scream by Edvard Munch, um, 1893. This famous painting, right? He was there during that time. Norwegian artist Edward M Edvard Munch, a familiar harrowing depiction of the scream, is set against a fiery red sky, very much resembling the sky which was witnessed in the eastern U.S. and Europe following the eruption of Krakatoa. Munch, living in Oslo at the time, would have witnessed this anomaly. I was walking along a path with two friends. The sun was setting. Suddenly the sky turned red, blood red. I paused, feeling exhausted, and I leaned on the fence. There was blood and tongues of fire above the blue-black fjord and the city. My friends walked on, and I stood there trembling with anxiety, and I sensed an infinite scream passing through nature. This is this is profound. This whole thing is profound. It's just mind-blowing. By the way, my, my daughter, in her dream, um, saw a red sky, and then there she saw the Revelation 12 sign, then she saw a red sky, and then she saw a massive earthquake, which I think this tsunami is going to come across and cause at least a 9.0, if not more, on the West Coast, probably California, maybe um, the uh, Pacific Northwest with the Cascade Subduction Zone. Okay, following Krakatoa's August 1883 eruption, mining engineer and geologist 
Burbeck issued what has become a reference study for the study of volcanism describing the unparalleled catastrophe. The volcano chose to announce in a loud voice to the inhabitants of the archipelago that although most almost insignificant among the many colossal volcanic mountains of the Indies, it yielded to none of them with a, it with regard to its power. Okay, this is where I want to continue uh, reading here. So, the... Uh, let me go here. I should pass this because I kind of read a little bit too soon. Um, the Hawaii Kilauea appears to depict a feminine mirror of this historic event where th this is this um, subscriber, and I want to read her email here, where a false atonement ritual seems to be acted out. Note the first um, casting of lots seen in the letter blocks on iPad Go. We showed that. I'm not showing that right now. Where the goat, the goat right here. Now I'm going to go to this little animation that my wife so awesomely made here okay now I want to this is somewhat a little bit crude but it got to the point and we try to get this out as soon as we can so we don't have a lot of high technology here <laughs> low budget going on uh, but this is super cool what she did I'm kind of very blown away by it. she's very artsy like me um, so here is the big island and what I'm reading here is how the big island and their plan this is incredible at the timing and everything the big island right here looks like a goat goat's head and they plan on slitting the goat's throat and i'm going to show you this this is an animation here to show you how this big island, it looks like a goat's head isn't that crazy look at that that is a goat's head even down here with the mouth and everything this is what these people see. So I'm going to stop there and I'm going to go to this other picture in here and describe this. Okay. Okay, so I'm back to the picture here. Um, so as you see here where the goat, and I showed the animation, note the goat's head shape on the main island, mouth to your left and ear upper uh, on, on the top there, that's the ear there. And it's about to be slain or sacrificed. Helena slump is situated at the neck or cutoff point of the goat's head. So right here, it's right here. There's the neck and the Helena slump is like right here. This is Helena slump right here actually. This is the neck of the goat as you saw. There's the neck right here. And this is where it's going to be slit. And this is going to fall into the ocean. Let me show you Helena slump here. Okay, so there's the neck. Oop, not, not him yet. Okay, so there's the neck right here, and then this is the part of the neck in the front where this is going to be slit. This is a line of slump right here in this red part here. And this this whole thing, the East Rift Zone right here, is planned, I believe, to fall into over the line of slump. Again, this is, like I showed in my other videos, this is the most sheer drop-off of the whole island, and all the islands, really. It is a drop-off right here. And this is actually wreckage down here, Helena debris in the past. When this has happened, there's a precedent set for this. So they are basically from like right in here is when these where these fissures are happening, were happening. Okay, and so it's like just imagine you taking the scissors and cutting this. This is a, their way of cutting this right here and making this super weak. And with all this rain, remember they are pointing to this. CNN was pointing to this. These waves, you know, and possible landslides. They were just. Setting it up, and I don't know how many times they probably said that in the last couple of days since Thursday. I don't know, but because I don't watch CNN, but I guarantee you they set it up several times, and I showed you an example of that. And this thing is falling in to the right here, slitting the throat of the goat. That is crazy. So, the cutting off the cut, cutting the neck or cut off point of the goat's head to foster the birthing, the coming forth of the Antichrist system through sudden destruction, chaos, fire. By the way, fire. Is on some of the other islands for I think it's all fake it's all false flag why it's three other fires and all these acres are you kidding me and on the mainland all these fires and stuff because they want all this fire and craziness before this stuff comes and this bur birthing of the Antichrist so this chaos fire and water in a false atonement in a scapegoat manner the scapegoat is this the scapegoat is what you use to basically escape escape judgment Okay, days ago before this info from this subscriber, <clears throat> Jesus told me, I'm talking about me, this is me talking, Jesus told me that this is a planned event and a mass sacrifice of goats slash people. 
and I, I just didn't share with people because I don't want to put that out there. I mean, I, you can kind of imagine. I've been talking about tsunami hitting, you know, destroying Hawaii because it's happening right there, but then also going across the West Coast and hitting across the Pacific and hitting the West Coast. But I didn't want to really talk about it yet about it being the Lord telling me it's a mass sacrifice ushering in the coming of the Antichrist because it's sick. And because it made me sad and it, it hurt and it's it's horrible. And any of you, any Christians who are welcoming this, I'm sorry, you don't know what it is to be a Christian. And I'll just say that. Um, I am mixed right now. I am, I am excited in a way, but my sadness sometimes overtakes me because I'm sad for people. And you know what? We are all in this soup. We are all in this soup. And you know what? I'm no perfect person. I make mistakes all the time, and I have improved and I've gotten better because of the grace of Jesus Christ, okay, and his power in my life and all that stuff. But I do not consider myself better than anybody else, and no one else should. And I am doing my best to, the only reason I'm doing all this and taking my time is because I don't have the time. I have a family and everything. I have a job, all this stuff. I don't have the time, but I make it happen because the Lord is pressing upon me to warn people about this. I know people understand that. It's hard to do this. This is this hurts me. It kills my heart. It hurts my heart. But you know what? On the other side of that is is amazing stuff. That means that the bride of Christ is going to be taken off this earth soon, and that is amazing to me as well. So it's I'm very conflicted, <laughs> both sides. It's crazy. So I'm just saying that right up front. This is wicked stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna say here. So um, and also at the same time, this is also a goat's head. I mean, a lamb's head, I believe, and believe is going to be killed at the same time. Okay, and so this is, I believe, what Ob what Obama is showing right here is the is the dead sheep tongue, and he's winking that he knows the day of the dead sheep because he is the eye in the triangle, and that's why he's doing it. Okay, there's so much to this. It's crazy. I'm just showing you little pieces here. So the elite, the satanic forces behind them, are planning to form a second 9-11. Hawaii to be scapegoated again like Pearl Harbor was, upscaling the world, war worldwide by eruption of fire rippling out, out to devour waves, water judgment, and the days of Noah, and fire like in Lot's days, sending the world into sudden destruction, chaos, and a ring of fire lighting up Tsunami waters breaking forth, etc. And as such, form a second Pearl Harbor, a state-sponsored terrorism false flag attack under plausible deniability of blaming the weather and hence God, or even maybe Russia, or maybe even South Korea. Who knows? I mean, North Korea, sorry, North Korea. Like previously, Japan was blamed. Who knows how this is all going to come out? I don't. I'm just... I'm speculating about the future. I don't know how this is all going to happen, but I'm seeing a lot of things pointing to this these days, it, August 26th, August 27th. It's crazy. Okay, I'm just sharing you. I, I, I might not have all this together. I, I know I have some of it, but I don't know. But I'm putting this out there, okay, because I need to warn of possible explosions happening and definitely maybe a tsunami happening on the 27th, which is Monday. So... I'm going to this thing here. The Ring of Fire. Okay, I'm going to read this. She gave me this email. Again, a subscriber. And I put a little bit of my stuff in here, but most, a lot of it's hers. And adding to what I've already seen, no, and adding more stuff, insight that I'm just blown away by. Hawaii symbolizes a navel, a person's navel or umbilicus point of an umbilical cord of the womb of the sea and the surrounding geological or I put in gynecological if you will, the ring of fire. you got a gynecological symbol here, and the center here being Hawaii, and the ring of fire. Okay? We know biblically the B system rises from the sea, and I believe the United Nations, okay? And also Obama comes from here. He's the head of the beast. Obama was supposedly born in Hawaii, and he was his birthday is the birth of the Antichrist. Okay, the Hawaiian goddess Pele also reflects the mother goddess, the fiery phoenix type rising from the proverbial ashes and a false birthing of the anti-son anti of man. The anti-son of man appears to be at play here. The birth of the Antichrist system, or the pet goat too, as Anak Krakatoa was the first goat type 
and is likely acted out by a blood atonement scapegoat ritual. And like I was showing with this goat. Oh, let me go to this. Back to this goat. Let's just lay it a little bit here. Okay, back to this goat. Sacrificing a goat. And all the tsunami happening, killing many goats and I believe many sheep. To bring in a sacrifice for the birth of the Antichrist. This is sick. This is the stuff that I was telling you is coming. Gives me pause. This this knucklehead's part of it, I'm telling you. Okay. The the birth of the Antichrist system is basically like a ritual scapegoat and Hawaii is like a cutthroat island. Okay, and I believe also this NASA submarine, so called as they said they're sending here. Okay. Are you kidding me? I mean, really, if you re read the any of the articles, it's ridiculous. And they're just ready at the right time. Probably, I'm guessing, on the 27th, they're going to shoot some kind of torpedo into the Helena slump and really cause this thing to happen on time because they're about timing exactly. I mean, it's, it's, it's horrible. So should a torpedo be used to covertly manipulate the cutoff, cutoff of the slump, the Helena slump, which is the spear representation maybe of the water and blood gushing forth like Jesus' death when his side was pierced by the hands of the Roman soldier who could could be acted out as well. This could be part of the, the acting out that what they're trying to do and being the Messiah figure and everything. <clears throat> Thus, a crowning of the head could be enacted geologically and gynecologically in a sense, reflecting the final stage before a baby's head is birthed, which is called the crowning. In, right? In birth, I've had two kids. That's called the crowning. The head comes out and it's a crown. In, in, inducing the birth of the new world order or the Antichrist system prior to its leader being revealed. Okay? That is just... That's crazy. So, um, listen. I'm sharing this stuff with you. And I'm not, you know, I, I'm making mistakes and stuff like that. And I'm not saying it all perfectly and everything. But my heart is there to sh to warn and I need you to warn as many people as possible. I don't care what it makes you look like. I'm putting myself on the line. People are saying, just because I'm saying, I'm speculating. I'm not even setting a date or anything like that. I'm just saying, hey, these might happen on these possible dates. And some, I'm deleting people from my, my channel because they're swearing at me and they're saying all this kind of stuff. And they're saying false this and all that. So I'm asking you, I'm begging you, share this with as many people as possible. You know, if you see this at all, please share this with as many as, many as possible. Get this word out to people. Because, I mean, basically, this might start happening tomorrow. If you start seeing eruptions and stuff on Kilauea and all that stuff tomorrow and sounds... By the way, I, I didn't put it in here because I missed it. I just missed it because I don't do anything perfect. But I was going to show a picture of this guy on, on Facebook in Hawaii, basically, let, yesterday, hearing a loud, crazy explosion. And he called it, like, earth groans or something like that. And that may be the pre cursor to this these explosions is going to happen tomorrow i don't know but then there were several people on facebook that heard the same thing one loud 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 explosion that was just it scared the heck out of them they said and there was a different word they used than heck um and so if we see this start happening tomorrow it may not it may just be the tsunami on monday and this may not happen i don't know they i don't know okay I'm speculating by what I know and what I feel the inner witness is saying, what I feel Jesus has led me to all these years for these three years. So I'm begging you, get the word out to people, show them this, tell them whatever. If you know anybody in Hawaii that can possibly, you know, man, they can't go anywhere. So I don't know what can, what can be done there. All this rain and stuff, it's, it's, not, it's not there for any coincidence. It's to have a cover story for this to happen. They can just go, oh, blame it on the rain. It's like a bad Milli Vanilli song. Blame it on the rain, you know. It's horrible. So I'm begging you to do this. So I have this out here. This is way too taking way too long, but I had to get this information out. I have a few, little bit more information, but I, I had to throw this together. It, it took me hours to put some of this stuff together because I had to research a little more and everything. So God bless everyone. God bless all of you. God bless everyone. And I pray that as many people can be saved as possible, get saved. 
and get out of there on the west coast. So this is the Exalted Lamb, over and out.